So Windows 10 is reaching end of life and as a consequence, many people will be looking at installing Windows 11 on a system whose hardware isn't entirely supported by Windows 11. So Microsoft have higher system requirements for Windows 11 and the system requirements that they made are a bit arbitrary, focusing on the generation of the processor opposed to the processor's capabilities. So uh, eighth generation low-end processor is supported, but a seventh generation high-end processor or sixth generation high-end processor with superior capabilities is not supported. So if I press Windows and R and type in MS Info 32, notice I've got a Dell Optiplex 7050 with a i5 seventh generation Intel processor. So it's got 16 gig of RAM, it's got a solid state drive, Intel graphics card, Intel wireless card, and it's got a system management bias version of 3.0 or later. So otherwise it meets all the system requirements required for Windows 11. So if I mount this Windows 11 24H2 installation ISO and select open, and then begin the setup.exe to, to start the Windows 11 upgrade. Notice it's going to check for updates and then it's going to check the PC and state that the system requirements for Windows 11 are not satisfied and then only give me the option to close the setup. So if we go to Microsoft's website, there is a registry hack that will bypass this check. So if we open up the registry editor, and just copy and paste this path here. And if we just copy and paste in this key and we select new DWORD 32 bit of value and paste this and then set this to one. What we're going to do now is just relaunch the setup. And now instead of carrying out this check, it's going to bypass this check and allow the upgrade installation um, to proceed. So here it's going to check your PC and then it's going to skip the system requirements check. Take me to the license agreement screen, then search for other updates. And then I'll be given the option to perform the upgrade install. So Windows 11 24H2 is a major upgrade and it took about half an hour to install the upgrade on this Optiplex 7050. So as mentioned, this has a seventh generation um, i5 um, Intel processor. So it's just below what Microsoft recommend as the minimum system requirements. However, the capabilities of this processor are higher than a low end eighth generation processor, which Microsoft support. So this processor's launch date was quarter one, 2017. Um, so it's about seven years old now. And I also tried a Optiplex 7040 with a slightly older processor that has an i5 6500 from quarter three, 2015. So this is about nine years old now. This system had a solid state drive and it had um, eight gigs of RAM. So this system ran a wee bit sluggish and I would say this is probably about the lowest you want to go. Um, this i5 or, or you might get away with the i3 6th generation. Um, if you go for anything older, um, Windows 11 is likely to run incredibly slow. And I guess bear in mind that such a system is likely to be 10 plus years old. Such a system might run better using Linux and in particular Linux Mint because Linux Mint uses the legacy display driver model and the Cinnamon desktop environment is a bit lighter on system resources. So if you're running Windows 11 24H2 on an unsupported computer, um, feel free to comment below, um, give, give your system model, uh, your processor, your RAM, 
and whether it's got a solid state drive and just a general um, overview of how well Windows 11 24H2 is running. I'm just finishing up by having a look at some of the newer features on Windows 11. So we've got the ability to natively extract and create 7-zip archives. And then there's some additional development tools, such as sudo for the command prompt. So this doesn't seem to work for PowerShell, it just seems to work for the command prompt. And this is equivalent to running the command prompt as an administrator. sudo means super user do, and it comes from Linux, but it essentially means uh, run as an administrator on Windows. Some other developer options, such as show the full file path, um, don't seem to work correctly on my machine. However, this is on the kind of last testing stages of the Insider Preview and will probably be fixed by the time um, it's, it's released as a mainstream build.